Haiku Harmony, Mind's Path, Mysteries Unfold, Words Alchemist's Life. With that, I welcome you all to my fresh haiku journey. It's like a dance for me now, even though I'm not the biggest and most advanced dancer amongst you. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a dance on waves of thoughts. Food for thoughts, huh? That's it. Food for thought. Yeah, welcome you all to this new journey. As some of you might have already heard on my podcast or on my YouTube channel, I'm following up on a holistic lifestyle, which also includes poetry. Poetry has always played some part of my life, yet in recent years, I rediscovered it. Rediscovered it for myself, writing and also now sharing it. My haiku journey was something in the sheer love of life, of living in the moment and especially traveling as a backpacker through South America played a tremendous part of it. It's like walking through a forest, hiking up on a mountain, finding my way through a packed city, being among people and trying my best to consciously observe life around me. With all of that and more, especially stepping out as a backpacking soul and stepping in into a world of full vibe I've experienced here in South America, traveling through different countries and regions. It was a way, a very nice way to express the vibe of the moment, of each moment I've stumbled upon. Haiku poetry. It's like a conversation between what's going on around me, wherever I'm at, physically, and what's cooking up in my head <laughs> yeah really what's cooking up in my head like a soup like a delicious soup what's going on spiritually mentally in me and also around me and you know like when you're observing the world externally and at the same time sorting through your internal thoughts, dreams, feelings, emotions, everything. For me, something came out. Short phrases, short descriptions of the moments, short metaphors. And yeah, recently, better to say now, yeah, about two years, I've been trying my own writing hand again at these tiny, yet I think really, really powerful poems. And it's been a really insightful journey for me during the course of the last two, two and a half years. Yeah, something like that. Especially the first part of the journey when I was consistently traveling, moving from one place to another. So everything was changing so rapidly each and every day. Now I live at one place permanently. Sure, there are changes, things happening differently each and every day. There's also a constant basis. For example, a daily routine or certain daily routines. Uh, a lot of advantages in this as well. A lot of nice factors. Yet the uniqueness of each and every moment, how I experience it, especially in 2022, also last year, is something I've never experienced in my life like this before. Now, it happens more and more. And yeah, I picked it up again. My haiku poetry, my haiku mindset also, you know, when I'm outside hiking or walking, experiencing life, sitting right now in my cabin, thoughts come to me and now they're pouring out 
not only in the voice form, <laughs> the audio form, but also exactly in writing form. In longer texts, yet also in the short haiku form, capturing one moment, precise moment. It's like you're painting a picture. There's a canvas and you really paint like a quick snapshot of a scene like a scene you see or a feeling you have at one particular moment because i mentioned snapshot i'm thinking about photos right now so yeah it's like a mental photo you take yet i take this mental photo with my own so very unique and authentic personal words that come to me at this particular moment. As I picked up my haiku journey, I thought about, you know, releasing some of them also, step by step, <laughs> on YouTube. As you can see, I've already done it. So by the time I upload this video, you already know, maybe some of my haikus. Yeah, it's a restart also on that part not only on my holistic life's journey and on my content creation it's all around holistically as i mention it all the time <laughs> one of my favorite words right now yeah it's holistically it's all around how can it be only in one part and not the other how could i exclude it again i used to do that still do it i'm still doing it sometimes with some things yet that should change. I want to change that. To include all parts of myself. To find the balance. Writing poetry helps me. Because usually I'm a very active person. I'm a very outgoing person. And I do a lot of things. So calming down. Resting. Holding in. Still enjoying the moment. Still seeing the moment for what it is. Yet holding in taken it fully in and i think poetry writing and especially for me haiku it's a great way because it's very concise and short which describes a moment right yet also very profound and deep and unique so my journey has taken this delightful path into the world of haiku as well again and i've got to say it's been quite a discovery, again, <laughs> a rediscovery. I will present this video also on, on YouTube with some additions of my haiku and visual elements. And you can see some of them also on my blog. I will find ways to share them because it's, I think, what makes this world also so beautiful. Sharing your crafts, your art, your strength, your passions, yeah, in a respectful way without hurting someone physically or spiritually, yeah, mentally. And I hope you can take something away from my haiku as I did. Yeah, my interpretation of it also, right? It's always something so unique because you also take something maybe that has been used in the past before, yet you create your own version out of it, which makes a lot of things so very special and interesting. Also my newfound love for arts and crafts. Thanks again, Haiku. <laughs> and yeah, maybe going forward, I will also share more what I discover about Haiku in general, about the origin and the history of it. Now, I will leave you to it with some of my Haikus. I will present to you, reading it out as I've done so many times during my days for myself. <laughs> I will begin with one. Life's constant flow. Questions echo in the now. True self unfolds here. And another one. And then I will leave you to it. Yeah, with reading out the second haiku and I'm seeing the picture next to it right now you will see it visually on YouTube as I'm smiling right now absolutely 
And then I wish you all health, peace, love, and see you soon. See you soon. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Now, the second typo. Past whispers softly. Hearts rhythm connections cast. Rhymes of life embraced. <laughs>